People have been asking me about real estate since Jesus was a child, and now he's just all in it. I absolutely love it. So that is so awesome, Joe. Um, and I did want to say I had a $2.3 million listing, and I know it was overpriced, and I took it, but the guy told me he was not going to reduce it, and I just left his home today in Surfside, and we got it down to 1.9. So I'm excited. So I'm really, really th thrilled about that because now I know we have the opportunity to get it sold at that 7% commission we've been talking about. Am I being recorded? I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's in the listing agreement. Well, anyway, I just want to thank everyone to be on. We decided to go um, and um, do the resume class again as we host these uh, meetings, these trainings. Um, Claudianne, Jeff, Crystal, uh, you know, putting this all together. They call and just tell me, hey, this is your week. Come up with what you need. And from the week before, a couple of weeks before during Claudianne's training, which is back to basics, so many people were talking about resumes that we said we would do the resume class again. So before I kick off and bring the uh, presentation up, I just want to really ask you, if you can put in the chat or if you can be unmuted, why do you think you need a resume, a real estate resume? Does anybody know why you would have a real estate resume? What is the purpose of it? Anyone? No like and trust to show your experience. Okay. All right. Additional proof. Uh, somebody said we can't unmute uh, to build trust or credibility to demonstrate your skills to show. Okay. To validate my uh, professionalism. Listen, the reason why, and all of those answers are very, very good. But the main reason why you want a real estate resume is because less, less than 5% of realtors in the country. Do you know how many realtors are licensed realtors in the countries? Not agents. Licensed realtors, 1.6 million to date, okay? Less than 5% have a real estate resume. That's why you need it. Who's showing it? It's just like when you walk into someone's home for the first time, everybody's passing out business cards. You should have your license in your hand. You're building trust with the customer right off the bat. So anyway, someone else put uh, uh, Shelly to be set apart. Exactly. That's the reason. You don't need a whole bunch of information. You don't need two pages, three pages. This is going to be very simple. I have done it step by step. So whether you are seasoned, whether you have, you've not even had a transaction, you're going to be able to do a resume tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and share screens. Please free, feel free to ask questions. I'm not sure if somebody's in the, uh, will be in the box tonight. So if somebody has a, a question, I can answer it as we go. I'm going to share screens now. One moment. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff says he's, he's my co-pilot. Oh, I had it over here already. All right. All right, everyone. So writing a resume, this is what we're all here for. And this is what we're talking about today. And so I'll go ahead to the next page here. Okay. What we're learning today is what is a resume? Step-by-step -step guide to create your real estate resume. Elements of a Realtor's Resume and Key Takeaways. Okay, so what is a resume? A resume, and then they tell you how to spell it with the accent over the E's as well, is a formal document that serves to show a person's career, background, and skill sets. The purpose of a resume is to introduce yourself to customers, present your qualifications, secure a buyer, and a seller's consultation. So here's the thing. It's so funny how we would actually, if we were working a nine to five job and you have to turn in a resume, you have a resume ready for that. The question is, why don't we have a resume ready for our own business? Keep in mind, 
Your brokerage is there for you because your state tells you that as a licensed realtor, if you don't have a broke, if you are not a broker, you will have to put your license with an actual brokerage. That means you're running your own business. You should have something for yourself. Right. So all you've really done is hung your license with a particular brokerage, but then now you're running your business. So let's just say I'm AHLLC. I need some representation for myself. Who am I? How do I introduce myself? And why is it I don't have a resume? You should. Another reason for you to have a resume. I will tell you, um, I have been on what they call the Money Honeys on Hot 105. I had the opportunity to do a radio show for an entire year. But you know what the first thing they said? Could you send your resume over in, in like five minutes? Five minutes. Can you imagine I, if I didn't have my resume on hand and I had to go make a resume? I might not have had that opportunity because there were so many other people that have, might have been interested in that particular position. And that was great for me to be on the radio for an entire year. I had my resume and I had it ready to go. So that's another reason why it's important for you to have a resume. One, because you are running your own business. Very, very important. Two, a lot of realtors don't have it. And three, you're ready to go if somebody asks for it, for an opportunity for marketing. Any questions thus far? I don't think anybody can unmute. So let me know if there are any questions because I can't see the chat. Okay, so here's your step-by-step -step guide to create your own real estate resume. I am in great hopes that everyone here tonight will do their resume no later by Monday of next week. Okay, so here's the resume format. If you look to the left of the page, it says choose chronological resume format. You want to use from the present to the past. You want to show what you're doing now, not what you've done in 1976, 1985, 2002, what you're doing now. You want to list your work experience and your achievements starting from current or most recent and follow up with previous experience. Okay, so look to the right of the page and you see number one. This is as detailed as we could possibly get. It's telling you our resume length. The industry standards, the industry standards, that mean we did research for a resume length is only one page. A seasoned professional with 20 years experience can opt for two pages. Now the word opt is really okay. If you really got things to put on there, then put it there and make it two pages. But in these times, people don't read. People like to just see things quickly. And it's just like you're driving on the 95. You know, if you see a billboard that has too much information, you're going to miss it. You should see a face, the name, and a phone number so you can get it and keep riding, whether you're heading north or south. And then the section header. Identify your resume's section by using headers to separate them. So you want to separate the sections, right? So you want to separate your information about you, your, your information about your hobbies, your information about your education, and so on. The font size and style. It's best to use 11 to 12 point size. Yes, we did research, okay? People like to read 11 to 12 points in size for standard text and 13 to 14 points for the section header. If you look over here to the left, you can see where the work experience is. That's your 13 to 14. If you look at the words, the text at the bottom, it's 11 to 12 points. People don't wanna read the bottom part in 13 or 14, it's too big. And it's almost like, do they think I can't read or I can't see it? So you looks more professional. Your margins. You should get margins to your resume so that it's easier to follow. I'm gonna check here in the chat. I see somebody saying it's gonna be recorded. Okay, and let me move on to the next page. So your current, your contact information, okay? Your name and your surname. Yeah, surname is the proper way to say it. Here in America, we say 
your last name, which is just fine as well. So you, here's a sample right here. So my name, Angelique Hibbert. Let people know who you are. Your professional title, associate realtor, um, professional um, realtor, whatever you want your title to be, put your title here, right? And you're going to actually have your license number right behind that. You're not hiding your license number. It's important to have it there your phone number, your business line. If you have two separate lines, use your business phone. Do not use your business phone or your personal phone as your business phone. Your email address, put your email address there and you put your, um, your business address right here. So this is what this section should look like. So you have your location, your street, your city, and so forth. People know that you have a business. They might just go ahead and wonder, where is this business and look it up, right? So you wanna have an address. You wanna have an email address. You wanna have a phone number and you wanna know, you want people to know what are you in real estate? You might be a commercial realtor. You might be a resident, a residential realtor. Be creative in the titles that you wanna put there. And keep in mind, if you have any designations or certifications, put those letters behind your name. Does everybody think they can at least get this part done tonight? Drop some ones in the, in the chat if you think you can at least get this part done tonight. Now the objective, a resume objective is to have two to three sentence paragraph, okay? Below are the suggestions you can use. Your role and years of experience. Your key achievements in the industry your broker's history. Now, listen to me, those of you who have not been in real estate for a long time or haven't had a lot of um, transactions, use your broker's history, use your team's history, use the person you signed up with. If you're with eXp, you have a sponsor or if you have a mentor, a mentor, your brokerage, use their information. And I'm going to read the sample for you to the right. Certifications, memberships. What do you have memberships to? What organizations are you a part of the uh, Boys and Girls Club? What are you a part of? People like to see that you do a little bit more than just real estate. Is this person community driven? You know, do they put walks together? What are some of those things? Have them written down. Relevant real estate skills, guys. Your skill set doesn't have to say negotiation or strategist. Your skill sets could be someone who's organized. Things like that. Think about jobs you had in the past. If you are a new realtor that can really add, what are your skill sets? Those skill sets can transfer over to real estate. So here you would have your name. Angelique Hibbert is a dynamic real estate professional in a high competitive market with eXp Realty a global online brokerage powered by its top realtors and backed with their cutting edge technology. Angelique has the unique ability to produce results through forging relationships, skillful marketing, and her negotiating, negotiating expertise. Guys, what did I do here? I took eXp's information. I'm telling them that we're with a global online brokerage. That's huge. It's big, global, we're using the word global, uh, with our brokerage powered by its top realtors. I'm one of their top realtors. Who's going to tell you that you're not? It's like Joe today. Joe went out and he found a $6 million deal, right? And at the end of the day, Joe said, hmm, I don't want to go by myself. He was able to go back in and say, hey, Jeff, Claudianne, I need somebody to come with me. Guys, use your brokerage's information. If you ever get in a place where I put this information out here and now I have the person, you always have someone to come and assist you. Any questions thus far? Does anybody think that they can at least get this part done tomorrow? Put a two in the box. This is not hard stuff so far. I, I, I hope it's, it's, it's easy and I've made it as easy as possible. So your role, uh, you know what? 
I'm going to go through this and then hopefully we can get someone who was willing to tell us a few things and maybe we can get someone to get their resume done tonight. Off to the next page, work experience. Is your past job description and professional experience to give your credibility to your resume? Begin with your current position, right here to the right. Real estate professional, is that what you are? That's what you put. Whatever you wanna be here, put that title here. For each entry, professional title, company's name, position time frame, right here. EXP Realty LLC, time frame to present. Three to five of your accomplishments and responsibilities in bullet points. Okay, well, you know what? I've not been in real estate for a long period of time, right? So this is what I was talking about earlier. You want to find out the information. It, whatever brokerage you have, pull up their information. Everybody should have about something online about their, their company. If you have joined a company and you have no idea about the history of that company, I'm not sure how your business is going to be going because you decided to hang your license with a company and you have no idea about their history. So learn about your company so you know who you are a part of. So you can put things like 120, 20 transactions combined, combined. Maybe you're in a group. And maybe the transactions in your group are 120 transactions combined with over $60 million in sales. Are you lying? No, you're not. You're using your group's information. Number one in transactions on RS Media, top 1,000 power broker report for 2023. Yes, I am bragging about the company that I am with because I have the backing from my brokerage, right? It's telling us about ranks. So you wanna look up the ranks about you. What is your brokerage rank? You can write that in there. You can tell them a little bit more about, you know, um, again, they were on RS Media in 2022, uh, Powered Broker Report. Number one independent, number one mover in transactions in 2022, Real Trends 500. We're even telling you where you can find the information. Now, it, this is impressive. Like, wow, you know, brand is everything. I know everybody knows. Everybody knows what Gucci is, right? It's a brand. Everybody knows what Louis Vuitton is. It's a brand. Brand yourself within your company if you don't have the information right now or the sales history. Note at the bottom, list fewer accomplishments and responsibilities the further back you go. So when you're going back in the history, on your work history, you don't need to put everything back that you did in 20, um, 2020 or 2021. Make it a little bit less because you want your resume to be a one pager. Keep your work entries relevant. Skills. Keep it as relevant as possible. You want to list skills related to the real estate industry. Think of all the real estate related skills you possess. Guys, what is it, Jeff? GP chat, chat or chat GPT? You can just go on there and just put that in there and it will give you 20 million different types of skill sets. Active listening. Who's an active listener? Who communicates well? Who's a negotiator? Okay, well, you haven't negotiated a contract, but haven't you negotiated something at some point in time in your life? That qualifies you as a negotiator. Patience. Do you have patience? Are you a patient person? Interpersonal skills. Sales skills. Okay, well, you didn't sell in real estate, but did, were you someone that was like, I don't know, at a Saks Fifth Avenue or Neiman Marcus or somewhere that you sold items? Maybe you were somewhere else where you sold items. So you can list that. Property management. Let's say you were in property management. You can list that. Networking skills. Do you have networking skills? Are you forging relationships? Are you capable of doing that? Organizational. Are you a person who organized and knows how to organize very well? Hard skills, forging relationships, right? Do you make friends? Are you forging relationships in your business right now? Maybe 
you don't have the deals, but you have now forged a relationship with the title company. You forged a relationship with the lender. You forged a relationship with an insurance company because you're going to need all these people, correct? To make your deals happen if you're on the buyer side. And even if you're on the seller side, you need to know these people. Have you forged a relationship with um, an inspector, with an appraiser? This is forging relationships. And while you're forging those relationships, you are building a team. So when you get your customer, guess what? Your team is ready. Market analysis. Yes, of course, you know how to do a market analysis. You've taken, you've been in the MLS. You've figured out how to price out a home. Um, market analysis, system development. Systems, do you know how to develop systems? There are so many systems. There are so many um, apps that we have at the Miami Association that you can use to actually use some of the systems that are already there. You don't even have to go and buy them. They're there for you. They actually come with your uh, membership every single time you pay every year. Digital technology, who's good at that? Property manager, risk analyst. MLS database. Guys, if you have any of these, these you can make into your skill sets. If you don't, then guess what? The things that are the soft skills are the soft skills that you can use and you can translate them into real estate because you're going to need communication skills in real, in, in real estate. You're going to need some sort of sales skills in real estate. You definitely want to need to be organized in real estate by far. I hope everybody's learning something really quick because this should really take you less than an hour to do. Education. Include in this, include in this section your degrees, your designations, your certification, and your schools that you have attended. Recent real estate classes, designations, training, and or courses. The name of your school, the date attended. So to your right here, it clearly tells graduate Realtor Institute, Florida, USA, this is the date. BA in Business Administration, University of Florida. This date to this date. It is as simple as that. You're like, well, you know what? I didn't go to college. I don't have anything to put there. Take a class, get some designations, put your designations there because those designations are related directly to real estate which would make a lot of sense for your real estate resume. Now, anybody here, so additional sections, additional sections, set yourself apart from the other realtors with similar skills and work experience. Memberships, everyone that's on here, if you belong to an association and I don't care what state it is in, if you belong to an association and you have capabilities to use the MLS, NAR, the National Association of Realtors, you remember, NAR governs real estate in America, period. So if you have nothing else, you can definitely put the National Association of Realtors. Now, here's the next thing. If you have a license, and you know you're a member of NAR, you must be a member of your state because that means your state, you're a part of your state's um, membership as well. Like here in Florida, we have Florida Realtors. And if you are a part of the MLS, that means you signed up with an association wherever you are in the country. I signed up with the Miami Association of Realtors. So I have local membership, I have state membership, and I have national membership right there. You've got three memberships. Boom, set, ready, go. If you speak some different languages, French, Spanish, put it there. Volunteer work, I'm a part of the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, it, you might be a part of the Cancer Society. I'm a part of Alzheimer's. So that would be on my actual resume because my mother has Alzheimer's and I'm an advocate and I walk and I like to share that with my customers. It is incredible, guys, how many people call me when it's time for the walk. Sometimes people are calling me before I could even get it out there. So it's also, and that's how you can forge relationships and make connections as well. Let's say I've, I've been at 
Feeding South Florida, where we go and we pack boxes and serve and, and give food out for so many people in need. Hobbies. I'm a world traveler. I love to travel all over the world. It's just something that I love doing. If you're a world travel, I believe Miss um, Sonia Hickman's on here. She's also a world traveler as well. Stock market. Maybe you're interested in the stock market. Guys, people in luxury real estate, they talk about the stock market all day long. So that's important. Are you an advocate reader? Somebody who reads, even if you're listening to books, Listen, write it on there, get those connections. Then what you can do with your hobbies. I'm gonna tell you one of the things I'm going to start doing with my hobbies is literally start telling people. I just went to Dubai the other day and I found some property there that I'm going to start promoting, but I'm going to tell people why they should be buying in Dubai. Now, why would I be doing that? Because at EXP, we're worldwide and there's an EXP office in Dubai. So now I can sign an agreement with an EXP realtor there. And then now what I can do is start telling people about Dubai. And people are like, oh my God, I didn't realize I could buy something in Dubai for two or 300,000. It might be a one bedroom, two bedroom or uh, something very small, but I could buy something brand new in Dubai. I'm giving you that information from my resume. I'm now sending this information out as well in my MailChimp, in my constant contact. Real, real Got to really, really think about the things that you can use from your resume back to your customers as well. Now, elements of a real estate resume. I broke it all down here for you right here. Resume format. It tells you right here. Number one, this is what your format. This is what your resume is going to look like. And of course, by far, you're going to need a professional photo. Want to show people who you are. So one. This is your format. Two, your contact information will go up top. Now, your resume doesn't have to actually look like this. You can move things around either either way you want to put them. It's fine. This is the layout that I chose for us to use tonight, but you can move things any way you want to use it. You can also do it in Canva. Very simple, very easy. Contact information here. Objective. What's your objective right here? You don't want your objective to be five and six and seven and eight sentences. We don't even want to read text that has 160 characters. So you want to keep it small and you want to keep it simplistic. Your work experience, right down at the bottom, right here, you're a real estate professional, right? 120 um, transactions combined with over 60 million in sales. You're using your brokerage's information or your group's information. Chairman Excellence Award, Icon Agent Award Program. You're telling people, and these are in bullets, easy to read. Section five, your education. You're gonna give them your information about your education here. You're gonna talk a little bit about your, um, the schooling that you have if you choose. You know, sometimes, you know, you might put, you know, um, go Gators on here and then, you know, you're going to a Florida state home. So that might be something you might want to think about <laughs> by far. And then you want to put your designations, seller's representation, um, accredited buyer's represent, uh, representative, pricing um, strategy advisor, you know, a BA in business administration. Guys, listen. All associations and NAR actually carries all of these designations. There are so many that you can sign up for so you can have some information to tell people about. You know what I do um, every other week? I have about, I don't know, I think right now maybe 13 designations between designations and certifications. I just put it out there and people are like, oh my God, congratulations, congratulations. Oh, wow, you're that too. Oh my goodness, you're that. Oh my goodness. We have to start using what we have and use it in our social media, on our social media platforms, in our email platforms, whether you're using Constant Contact, regular email, and or MailChimp. It works. So that is your, your skill section. Did I skip uh, number six? You know, what are your skill sets? You're forging relationships, you're a pricing strategist, a digital uh, marketing person. What are your skill sets? You're like, well, I don't, I, are you an organizer? Do you have patience? 
Guys, it doesn't have to be that you actually have a designation for a particular skill set. What is it that you are good at? And if you don't know, guess what you do? Pick up the phone and call five people and ask them, you know what? Tell me what I'm good at. And out of those five people, three people most likely are going to say the same thing about you. I hope it's all good. And then you can use it as your skill set. Now, I can tell you, if I call five people right now, five people are going to say, organize, 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 organize. Thorough, 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 thorough. Professional, 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 professional. I also get that you can also look when you are closing a deal as well, or if you even have people you've talked to and you ask them to do a Google review, they'll say something about you. When I look at my Google review, I see the same words over and over and over again. And that's how I now understand some of the skill sets that I have, because sometimes you don't really know what you're really good at until people keep telling you like, oh, like, yeah, yes, I am. The languages you speak, you would put here in this section, uh, section seven, which is additional sections, the memberships that you have and the volunteer things that you do. Let me tell you, the volunteer section works for me every single time. Today, I will tell you, I got two calls for someone whose mother, one person has a mother who has Alzheimer's and another person has a, um, a it's an aunt with Alzheimer's. So when they see that you have this information and you're sharing it, people start calling you, you know, and sometimes, you know, they, they have to put their parents in a home or their, their loved ones in a home. And now what are they going to do with the house? What do you think they're going to do with the house, everyone? They want to sell the house to get the money so they can use the money to take care of the care of their parent. We got to start thinking bigger in all the things in the simple little things and in the details. It works right in your resume. So key takeaways tonight, choose the chronological resume format. Use an objective to give an overview of your career. Lay out your skills and career goals. If you are an entry-level professional, just lay it out, make it simple. Prioritize your work achievements over responsibilities. So you wanna talk about your achievements, everyone, not your responsibilities. People like to see that you've been doing something and it's okay if it's not directed in real estate. You can always take something and make it sound like it needs to be somewhere else. That's the creative thinking. And if you can't think of it, guess what? Chat, is it chat? GPT will tell you exactly what it could be. Very easy in less than a second. Fill in your skills section with skills that are relevant to the real estate industry. And that's what I have for you this evening. But what I am going to do right now is see if there's someone, let me stop sharing screens for a second, who would like to go over a few of the things in on the slides. Anybody? Do I have one person? Actually, Angelique Did just walked. Can we just on? he's like auntie angelique all right so i just want to just share really quickly this is what my resume looks oh, like and it, go 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 this is what my resume looks like and like angelique i think what you said is to try to keep it on one page right and if you are and if you are if you've been around for you know a period of time, it can opt to go to two pages. But the way Claudian's resume is reading, could you pull it back up? It has clarity. Pull it back up again for us. I can read through this. It's bullets. It's okay. easy to read through this. If the words are too close together and everything is all bunched up, nobody wants it. It's almost like I got to read a thesis. I don't want to do that. So this is really good. I can see, and I'm seeing the city Opalaka points out to me, planning and zoning. Wait a minute. Oh, you know, I'm seeing something here. Multi-million dollar top producer, like things are pointing out to me left and right. 
She's putting great work history here. City of Miami Gardens, right? Consultant, that was one of the NSP programs. Pembroke Pine, she was a part of one of the NSP programs. I mean, got this, she has a lot of information here, right? However, it's easy to read. Neighborhood Stabilization Program right here. Wow, programs. Okay, wait a minute. She's a, she's a top producer and she knows about programs. This is fantastic, right? That means that she can do a million dollar, two million or $3 million listing. And she can also assist somebody who's in the 300,000 and the $400,000 range who may need assistance through a program. So this is really, really good. Very good job, Claudianne. So does anybody have any questions or is anybody willing to get on and um, let me pull back up the presentation and maybe just um, ask a couple of questions on the second page of the slide. Do we have any volunteers? Anyone? I'll do it, Angelique. All I right. don't want to, but I want to. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad you want to. And you're a great person to want to. By All the right. way, I think this is phenomenal. I, I was excited the first time you did it, but I'm really, really feeling this today. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're gonna go back here. All right, let's go to this page. This page is simplistic. Everybody should at least have this page done today, okay? You gotta know your name, your professional title, your phone number, your email address, and have some form of an address, even if it's your brokerage's address, okay? So, Marshall. Yes, ma'am. So let's talk here. We're building the objective. What is your role? and years of experience so i am a licensed florida realtor and my years of experience is 2020 to the present 2020 to the present all right what are some of your key achievements so i actually have a resume it's not um it's going to be redone thanks to tonight but i have here that I am a licensed Florida Realtor, a single agent with the active role in the analysis, due diligence, marketing, and closing of various types of real estate transactions and property types for Marshall Moreland PA on the residential listing and buying sides. Okay, so let's talk about we'll this. Do that. All right, brother. That's a lot of information, right? It mm -hmm. sounds real good, but it's a lot of information. Mm -hmm. I just want to know what your key achievements are. Give me your two or three key achievements. Okay. I'm going to go back to this resume and see what I have. Um, negotiating acceptance of contracted offers for buyers. Um, representing sellers with negotiating and closing of sale of the property by winning the exclusive right to sell. Um brokering multiple out-of-state transactions to closing by networking and collaborating on referrals. Does that work? Okay, so this is what I got out of that that we can make into a two to three sentence. Okay. She's a negotiator, she's a listing realtor, and she re does referrals in different states. She, 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 she's with, she's in several different states. That's what I got out of what she said. And she said a lot, but we don't want to give people too much information because we just don't read it. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, Marcelle is a negotiator. She sounds like from what she said to me, she's a seller's repre uh, a representative. She's a listing realtor. She lists properties. That's what she does. She does referrals from state to state. So that's something else. She's, she's, um, she is global in the sense of being in the state. So, or she might be doing properties outside the country. So she can actually list, you know, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. She can name different places that she's actually had referrals in. That means she has knowledge of other places. And those are key points that should be in her, in her resume. So, Marcel, you've been around long enough that you really don't need to use a lot of your brokerage's history, but if you did, everybody can understand where to get the brokerage information from. Now, Marcel, yes. where, um, tell me, do you have any certifications? 
um let me look because I cannot remember um well you're a men you're you're a mentor with exp realty am I correct I am a mentor with exp realty I okay. am a certified certified Florida notary and loan signing agent a lux luxury listing designation I have exp relocation and reo designation and C-R-E-I-P-S and N-C-R-E-A. Those are um, relocation and commercial realty um, designations. Guys, she's got certifications. What could Marshall be doing with her certifications? Tomorrow, Marshall, you need to put your face, get the logo, use those certifications and send them out on social media. Line them up for the week. Awesome information. That is information that she can use for her resume in bullet points, as simple as that. What memberships? Tell me a little um, bit. What organizations are you with? NARAB. Yay! She's with the National Associate. And guys, when you're putting down information of whom you're with, do not just put the letters. Right. Because okay? nobody knows what Nobody that knows what that is. She said NARAB. I don't know what it is. Nobody knows what it is. Okay. It's the, when she writes the National Association of Real Estate Brokers, oh, she's got the word real, she's got the word real estate in there, brokers. Great. What else are you a part of? Um, Women's Council, Madam she's, President. Not only that, she has a title. She is the secretary, the secretary for the South Women's Florida Council. Board of Realtors Women's Council. A NARAB affiliate. Exactly. Well said. So yeah. this is where we're finding information. So Marshall, you're going to be able to shorten your resume, put it in the bullets and make it happen. And what are some of your relevant real estate skills that you have? Let's see, Angelique. Um, I am a negotiator. Okay. I am a mentor. Okay. Um, you don't need many things. I don't even have. I, that is the one. Oh, uh, listen, team lead. There you go. And we want to find a different word for team lead. What is team lead? Team lead leading where? Where are we going? A team lead of what? What? Give me yeah. something else. We team are lead. Team, lead call team lead. Team lead. Um. Um. Um, personnel strategy, realtor strategist. That's what look we're at that. Look at that. Realtor strategist, right? What does that mean? That means you help realtors strategize. Is yes. that what that means? That's what it means. Okay. <laughs> you see how I figured that out? You see how she was able to put her two to three bullets and set right together. She can copy the information. I wrote down that she's a negotiator. She's a listing realtor. She does referrals. She's going to list three or four or five or six cities that she's in already because she's in those cities, guys. If she's bringing people back and forth, she's doing business in those cities. Okay. Amber said, I could have also used team director. I like that. I organizer. like that. Look at, look, look at how we're brainstorming now, right? Yeah. She said, I'm Wonderful. an organizer and I'm actually um, a prior union rep. So yeah, I am definitely. Look at that. I love Look it, Amber. That. All right. So I just wanted to kind of go over that part there a little bit so you can understand how you can use a few, how easy it is. Marshall, thank you so much for coming. Can I on add one other thing, Angelique? Sure. Because you know what? You said the University of Florida and some things are catchy for people to hear. So right. I also have Florida Realtor Association, Great American Realtor Days delegation member in 2022 and 23, because I know people care about Great America. So That's right. <laughs> and wait a minute. I like how you use the verbiage, Great America. People will see that. Yeah. Words are important, everyone. Who was the young lady who gave you the information who, who just changed the, uh, the title? Amber. Amber. Amber, great job on that. That's what I'm talking about. Right here, everything is actually happening. This is a great job, Marshall. Absolutely awesome. Do you see how you can do your resume in less than an hour? Oh, yeah. 
I mean, I, I really hope it's at 752. If anybody has any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Marcel, thank you so much for participating. Claudianne, thank you so much for having these trainings. Jeff, thank you so much for always being around and assisting. And Crystal, thank you for organizing all these trainings every Wednesday. Totally awesome. Um, I really, really hope that everyone can get their resume done. Um, it's just too easy. It's too simple. If you're posting out there, and guess what else you can do with your resume, guys? You can send your resume out to your customers. It's kind of like a did you know kind of thing. As simple as that. This is another way that you can get information out there. People are going to be like, a real estate resume? My realtor didn't even show me their resume. Did they have one? So I just want to say thank you, Angelique, for coming on here to give us some information about the resume. Guys, y'all drop some fires if you learn something. I see Bridget has her hand up. We're going to get to it in a second, Bridget. If you learned something today, just drop some fire. Are you going to get your resume done? Guys, I'm not playing. My resume is done. My, my resume is done. My resume is done, okay? So boom, my resume is done. The other thing I want to share with you guys before we leave tonight and before we take Bridget's um, question is that the next thing I want you guys to focus on is the bio. And no, we did not go over the bio today, but I'm going to be, when we send out the video, we're going to send out the, 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 the PDF from today, the, pro, the, the presentation from today. And I'm also going to send out the sample of my resume and the bio. One, that's so you can read it. Most people are wanting to read bios too, okay? They'll probably get to the bio before they get to the resume. And most people are going to ask you, do you have a bio? Do you have a bio? Do you have a bio? We didn't get on that today. Angelique wanted to focus all of her attention, rightfully so, on the resume so that we make sure that you get everything that you need. And so thank you for, for hanging on, being there tonight. Go ahead, Bridget, with your question. Yes, thank you so much, Claudia Ann. Uh, awesome job, Miss Angelique. I thank had a you. question like, what is what would you consider too much? I've been in real estate almost three years, but I have um, I have developed a four week strategies to home uh, ownership course where I've been able to teach over 50 plus students virtually from all over the United States. Um, I've done quite a few things. I've been able to uh, partner and do a commercial deal with Snoop um, for her Orlando residence. I mean, for her Orlando um what you call her chain in Orlando. Um, I was able to get that deal and actually refer it out to a partner in Orlando. Um, so what would you, you know, how could I use the things that I have, you know, just kind of launched down and did on my own um, to enhance, you know, basically maybe my lack of experience or time in real estate? Okay, so I, I wouldn't say lack of experience, okay? Because you can take that experience and transfer it to real estate, right? Because if I've been selling and selling and selling, I sold to Saks Fifth Avenue, I've sold here, I've sold here. It, it, I'm just selling a different product, correct? I'm in real estate now. So um, I would take the top things. First of all, I would figure out exactly who am I trying to reach in my business? Am I trying to reach buyers? Am I trying to reach sellers? Who am I trying to reach? Then I would figure, say, okay, I really want to be a buyer's realtor, so that's what I want to do. So let me figure out what information and skill sets I have over here that I can transfer over into on this side for buyers. What things here could help with buyers? What organizations and skill sets I've had in these organizations that I can assist with buyers? So the first thing I would start out with is who is your target customer? Does that make sense? I don't know what, Claudia. Oh, there it is, uh, Bridget. Yes, yes ma'am, it does, yes ma'am. Right, so that's, how, that's what I would do because 
whatever you plan right now, all I'm doing is I want to look for listings. I want to look for listings in a particular area at a certain price. Do there certain things I don't need to have on my resume because it's not going to go with that luxury listing. You make it for where you're going. If you need three or four real uh, resumes, then have three or four resumes. I can have one for luxury. You can have one for residential in a certain price range. Maybe you have a commercial one. Maybe you have one for investors. So you don't have to have just one resume if you're doing several different things. But norm, norm, and it doesn't have to be the norm for everyone, you focus on where you're trending your business to be, right? So that's what I would start with first. Definitely, who are you trying to reach? Thank you so much for your question, and I hope I answered it as thoroughly as possible, Bridget. There's another question, um, Danielle. Hi, so as far as format, do you feel it's better on Microsoft Word or Google Docs? I put it in the chat, but I don't know if I got answered. I think either one is, is, is fine. Okay, and any problems with Google Docs with transferring it? Like, have you ever experienced? You wanna PDF it and send it out. So for example, Mine is PDF. I, and if I'm emailing it somewhere, it's just being emailed out as a PDF. Angelique, I don't know if you have another answer. No, no, no. You answered the question perfectly. I was actually going to say that because there'll be no need for you to be changed. You want it to be in a PDF form so no one changes anything on your, on your resume. All right, y'all, it's eight o'clock. We're out of here. Hope that you were able to gain something. This recording will be sent out to everybody that registered. It's the only way we can kind of keep up the uh, the presentation, a sample of my um, resume and the recording will go out. I'll drop some fires once again for Angelique. Yes, you can use Canva, but you still want to PDF yeah. the Canva document once you have it. Thank you, guys. I hope I see a lot of resumes out there. Have a good one, everyone. And thanks again for your time, your effort, your energy, and have a great real estate week. Bye. Thank you.